Right, for this exercise we are going to turn this, no we're not, we're going to turn this page into something that looks a lot more similar to this page here. So here is the text, basically all the text we need, um, and we're just going to modify things. So let's get started. First thing we're going to do is we're going to make that heading. So we are going to, oh, we're using Google Docs by the way. So let's highlight those. I'm going to go Command X on my Mac to cut those. And then I'm going to go Insert Drawing. I'm going to make something a lot like that. Okay, waiting for that to load up and we're good to go. We're going to go into Shapes and there's this one just here that we can use. So I'm going to make that nice and narrow, about the same size and shape as that. Let's get our colors matched up as best we can. I'm going to say that one close enough. Not quite, but close enough. Now we're going to right click on that shape. We're going to go edit text and I'm going to paste command V. There is the text that we cut from the other page. I'm going to highlight that and I'm going to change that text color to almost white. In fact, that one, that bottom row is going to be a very light yellowy creamy color. Yep. Now we're going to center those using the center alignment button there. And we're going to also match the font up. And the one that's closest is Cambria. All right, so once we've got that font, we want to make the sizes right. So we're going to go about, well, that's obviously way too big. Mm. No, it's obviously too big. 48 will do. And that's going to be about 24, yep. That is not perfect, but it is definitely close enough. Let's save and close that. Right, there's our little heading, our banner. Let's enter. Now, I wanted these three headings to be the same. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to match up the first one by going about, I think 16, I think is the best number. Yep, about that. Again, we want the fonts to be all the same. So let's just highlight everything. Change the fonts to Cambria again. Where's my Cambria? Come on. Yep, that's good. Now back to this one. We're going to make that font orange. Something like that. And we're going to bold it. And we're going to center it. Now that is going to be the basis of my heading, so of my repeated headings. So instead of having to go through and do all those steps again, highlight and um, change, put bold and pick the color and all that sort of thing, I'm going to just go up to here. I'm going to so I'm going to make this heading number two, um, and I'm going to update heading two to match. So because of oops, undo because I've already got that highlighted. I can go update to match and watch what happens when I click in here just once and go, look, see that's changed now. And it's even centered it. So that's that done. That has saved us some time. We now need these to be um, italic like that. In fact, I'm going to make that, I'm just going to call that one heading three, even though it's not a heading. I'm going to make that heading three, update to match. Should be able to, no, it's not going to work. 
fact, what's the difference between doing that and doing that? Absolutely nothing. So we'll just stick with plan A, which is italic. Notice how if I triple click, it'll highlight the whole row. It's just a little trick. Yep, that's done. <clears throat> now we just need to make two columns. So I'm going to highlight that and I'm going to make sure I include the next row. And I'm going to go tools. No, I'm not. I'm going to go format columns, two columns. And that's lined up pretty good. Same thing here. Uh, format, columns, two columns, format, oh, hang on, format, columns, two columns. What's happened here? What we've got here is the fact is all of this text fits in one column. So we want that to go over to so I'm just going to put my cursor there at the end of at the start of that part. I'm just going to enter down enough times so we've got that there. Now I wonder what's going to happen here if I highlight that section and go. You know what? No, I'm not going to do that. We're going to see if we can put that car in, which I have sitting down here as a file ready to go. You'll find that car attached to your Google Classroom assignment. Oh, he's popped in over there. I'm going to go wrap text like that. So change it from inline to wrap text. That means I can move it around. Just resize that down a little bit. That's pretty close. Unfortunately, we don't have an option for a page border in Google Docs, so we'll just have to be happy with that. Alright, thanks for watching guys.